One of the most frequently asked questions we receive from instructors about W.W. W. Norton's free Blackboard course packs is how to install them. The process is actually quite simple. Uh, first and foremost, you're going to need access to a blank or existing Blackboard course, and that's something only your college's IT staff can provide. You also need to know what version of Blackboard you're using. Um, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to install a free course pack in Blackboard 6, and then we're going to move on to the more recently released Blackboard 9. The first step is finding the course pack relevant to your uh, textbook. And so first you want to go to www.norton.com and click on College Textbooks at the top of the page, and then find your discipline and textbook title. When you click on the For Instructors tab, you'll be taken to a page uh, hosting our course packs. And, and you, I should point out that you'll only be able to access this file if you've registered and been confirmed as a college instructor. Alternatively, you can go to www.norton.com forward slash NRL and find your discipline and book title. You'll then want to download the file to your desktop. Uh, this is a good time to mention that you'll only be able to access this file if you've registered for access to NRL. Only confirmly confirmed college profess professors may download these instruction materials. So download the file to your desktop or somewhere on your computer you, where you can easily find it again later and you're going to need to get at it in just a moment. Okay, so now you're ready to install the course pack. So go ahead and launch a browser and log into your course. Uh, we'll show you next how to install your course in Blackboard 6 and then we're going to move on to the more recently released Blackboard 9. Now that you've downloaded the course pack to your hard drive, you're ready to upload it into your new or existing course. A brief word about what you're getting. Norton's course pack consists of materials for student self-study, so quizzes, activities, video and audio multimedia presentations, and the instructor test bank for online assessment. Note that only instructors have access to the test bank. Everything is fully customizable. You can add your own questions to a quiz we've created or add a discussion forum uh, to an activity question. It's completely up to you. We also don't charge you or, more importantly, your students to access our materials. That saves your students money and you time and hassle of fiddling with publisher access keys. Okay, so now logging in. The first thing you want to do is log into your course and along the left-hand navigation menu, select Control Panel. Next, in the lower left-hand box, select Import Package. It's important that you don't select Import Course Cartridge. Uh, course Cartridge requires a student enrollment key and often a costly purchase. We don't charge your students for access to our content, so collect Import Package. Now click the Select File button and locate the file you downloaded from the Norton Resource Library. Finally, select each checkbox under Select Course Materials. If you want to preserve your own syllabus for an existing course, and uh, then don't select the Syllabus checkbox. Now, once you've done all that, you're going to hit the Submit button at the bottom of the page, and the course pack will then self-install. It's going to populate your course with um, Norton's content, so student self-study materials, as well as the test bank. So you'll be sure to wait for a message from Blackboard after you've hit the Submit button. Uh, some course packs take longer than others to install, and your school server might be running slow, so give it some time. The, install, the installation process for Blackboard 6 is just that simple. Importing a course pack into Blackboard 9 is very simple, and in my view it's actually easier than in previous versions of Blackboard. The first thing that you're going to want to do is log into your course, and along the left-hand navigation panel, look for Packages and Utilities. Under Packages and Utilities, you're going to in click Import Package View Logs. Click that link, and again, avoid the Course Cartridge link. Now, select the Import Course button and then click on the Choose File button. Find the file you downloaded on your desk, onto your desktop from the Norton Resource Library, and under Select Course Materials, select each checkbox and hit the Submit button. Now, if you're importing over an existing course, you might want to leave Blogs blank, Calendar, uh, the Discussion Board, uh, Task, those sorts of 
files that you would have created and task that you would have created in the course of your pre-existing course. You're then going to click the submit button. What you, and then you'll then receive a message like the one here indicating the import was a success. It may say, as it does here, that an email be sent uh, because the, the action has been queued. Uh, when, the act, when the activity is complete, you'll receive an email. Eventually, you will receive all of the Norton contact, uh, content, and you're going to be looking under the Course Materials button in order to access that content. Um, as you can see, when we click on Course Materials, content hasn't yet been added. Just give it some time, and after a short while, usually takes between 10 minutes and 30 minutes for a course to be fully imported, you'll then have access to all of the Norton Contact. Remember that this is all fully customizable. You can customize the student content, you can customize the instructor test banks that we've created for online assessment. It's completely up to you how you use this. Once it's been imported onto your school server and into your course, it's yours to use as you wish. Thanks again for your time. I hope this was helpful and good luck.